Hey, you doing here? Okay, well, in my other videos I've been talking about <coughs> my routers. Uh, well, for one thing, when I'm doing remote desktop, they, uh, that's my TP link there. It's my best router. It's my newest one. It's a one gigabit router with uh, 380 or it's got 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and I think the 5 gigahertz is a really weak signal and it won't uh, even though it has three antennas and it won't connect two rooms away here in the house and uh, two point so the 2.4 gigahertz or three yeah 2.4 it's what I use most of the time for wireless but all these desktops and everything are uh, wired anyway but uh, with these phones especially these little these uh, phones these Alcatel 845Ls they're, the, they're pretty much what I use for wireless myself once in a while a laptop but anyway and I have a trusty old Linksys um, where's that model number I bet if, you, if you're into uh, routers and stuff at all then you probably know this one um, can't see this too little WTR45G I think it's uh, still got its original sticker on it WRT yeah WRT45G but the thing is it uh, Wi-Fi works fine and all the other ports work fine but this one here that I have just just now put some tape across to remind me because I did have everything hooked up and my web server was hooked to this my IBM which is this machine right here okay. that machine right there is my web server that's my that's my monitoring service I use one of them to tell me when it's up and down and what I did is I have another machine out in the garage a couple of get old gateways it's a 500 megahertz went out in the garage it's a 500 megahertz with surprisingly 64 megabyte of video memory just saw that a minute ago and I had set it up as a backup web server and it's uh, it's so hot though this it's in a couple of weeks it'll be too hot probably to ever use it in the heat in the summer it can't it, the, the router and the machine just get too hot and I start losing connection and getting getting notices you know but anyway I had this was all hooked up and running and I was and I was getting ready to take this one I decided to go ahead and take it all the way out of the loop because of the bad port. I figure because of the bad port, it's been the way for quite a while. But um, and all I did was unplug that one and plug it into a different router. And uh, but uh, you know, I figure if it's a hardware failure, which it may may very well be, unless it's just like a dirty. I looked at it the best I could, and I couldn't see any dirty connections. You can kind of see the connectors in the bottom there. Oh, they're the other way. Anyway, I looked at them with a magnifying glass and a light. And I don't think you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see the silvery. That that one's the one. Anyway, but I can kind of see them now. I've got uh, got some got some uh, magnifying safety glasses on that are, they're a little bit more magnifying than my uh, regular ones I wear to you know my reading glasses I wear on the computer. But it's still on right now because I, I unplugged everything and I've got my backup server out in the garage running. It's a little warm out there when I was to be out there setting it up. Got bit by mosquitoes, of course. But uh, this is my very first router, Netgear. It's not hooked up to anything, and I think I'm going to go ahead. Problem with it is it's uh, it's it's pretty old, you know, like from 2000. 99 I don't know uh, and I, it can't uh, maybe 2001 or something I don't know I might have the numbers on it I know there's dust everywhere but and that's after I cleaned up oh god this house is so bad but it's, it's not wireless it's just wired but anyway it, it, the the cache will fill up what I understand the <coughs> on these things all of them I just wiped that a while ago so I thought I guess I didn't get it all um, the cache will fill up and they'll just they need re, you know the only way you can get them going again is to reboot them and it empties out the memory more than just RAM cache it's it's it, there's some really complicated junk that's really hard to understand I've read about it several times but anyway and this old trend net it's okay 
Uh, it does the same thing. It does it. It's the second worst one about doing that. And it's a wireless too, but it's so bad. I just turned off the wireless radio. The wireless is so bad because you you know your laptop might if you've ever hooked up to it, then maybe one of the other signals gets weak from interference from a, there's all so much so much uh, networking going on wireless in this neighborhood. But anyway, I use it just for the wired. And sometimes the, sig the signals will just go up and down. I've got an app on one of those phones that I can watch the signals. So anyway, what it was doing, I want the, the, big, the reason it got me remembering that I even had a problem with this one is when I would use my laptop here, the screen just went to sleep. It's not running right now, but on this Dell 1525 laptop, I just got through putting Debane 8 on it. And whenever I was trying to make videos, I was using my other machine over here. That would be this one down here. But you can't really, you can just see it, you can barely see it. A Lenovo i5, that's the one I use all day, every day now. It's a quad core Intel with four gig of RAM, but it only has 256 megabyte of video memory, so that's another problem there, a story there. That's my machine I used for about four or five years. That's a custom, or you know, sort of, yeah, a custom guild case. It was part of a kit, I got it Tiger Direct. And actually, that one got damaged in shipping, and they sent us another one, and then I got to keep that case. I was actually building a machine for my mom, and that one has a... So I bought a motherboard for another old machine, an old gateway that somebody gave me. They had a bad uh, motherboard, bad... It got hit by lightning, several bad things in it. So anyway, it's got a, another motherboard in it. It's the 1.8 gigahertz. It's not very much of it. With 3 gig of RAM, I think. Laptop has three gig of RAM, two gigahertz, two point, two, two even. This one over here is two point four, two point five gigahertz, quad core. So it would be all right if it wasn't for the terrible video memory. The laptop has like three forty eight. That has, I don't know what it has in it. It's got a video card in it, I think. No, it doesn't. It's using onboard media memory. So anyway, I don't know what. Went into specs here. So the point of this video is I was just going to kind of show my changing out here. So I've got, oh, dang it. got a spot where I can set this tripod. This camera's on a little tripod. Got a spot where I can set, I don't know if that light helps or hurts. I think it helps. Makes it where I can't see the screen very good when I put it in that place there. I think that makes it look worse. Let me just try. Yeah, that makes everything. Actually, that might. No. Let's leave it like that, I guess. I think maybe I can see what's going on better. I think maybe I can see better the light. But I like this. My eyes are sensitive to light. I need light to see and read things, but they're also so sensitive that it blinds me. So anyway, uh, I try to label most everything. Lenovo i5, or else I'd never figure it out. And I've got cables running through the attic to other rooms in the house, but the internet connection comes in the modems down here beside this machine. I need to open up this uh, IBM and... Uh, I think I'll just shut it down. I need to open it up since I've already been in the dust. I think I'll shut it down. And uh, let me do that right quick. Shut it. It's not. It's not serving up anything right now. So I'm gonna shut it down and uh, then I'll open up the side and get a vacuum after it. And or either that or carry it outside and blow it out real good. It needs. It needs blowing out really. Get, that cleans them up better. But. Uh, Shut it down and it'll cool off the room a little bit while I'm running, jumping up and down and doing all this stuff. It, the fan, I can tell the fan's dirty because when it gets dirty it starts making noise. Normally you can barely hear the thing running. Actually, I don't think it quit making that noise because it, not the fan noise, I mean. But anyway, um, so I got to figure out, okay, this white one. If you're not familiar with routers, they, they use, most of them are fairly well labeled as to which one goes out to your, it'll say internet or um, different things. 
What does this one say on it? This one here has. Uh, this one says internet. It has two USB ports, and you can plug in USB drives, and so, and it has a built-in FTP server. But I also found out not long after I bought it that it uh, has a switch to turn the wireless on and off, and a real power switch that'll turn it on and off. I found out right after I bought it that it has a vulnerability in the firmware, and uh, they didn't. The, the manufacturer TP-Link never came out with an update, so I just turned all that off and made sure none of that was turned on. I don't have a, a USB stick plugged in there anyway. I don't have anything I can really use for that. Well, I do now. I didn't for a long time. I got a big old four terabyte uh, Seagate backup drive that I just plug into different computers and it would be kind of cool if you could plug it in here and then access it from all computers without having to unplug it. But it's FTP and when you turn it's F regular FTP it won't do secure FTP SFTP so uh, when you transfer the files it's going to get the date that you, you can change the date to what you transferred it to and that ruins your backups. I want the original date that the file was made not the date it was transferred on all my files so it really confuses things so it wouldn't be a good way to do it anyway. So, Lenovo i5, okay, um, Mom's Room, Red Black Biostar, okay, that one I would like to have on this router uh, because I like to be able to VNC straight into it without any forwarding through other routers or anything. That's the, uh, the one I showed you with the big black case when I said I got the case from it was an old gateway and put it in a new case and new motherboard and stuff but uh yeah red black biostar i call it the red black biostar because the case has red lights and it's a black and biostar motherboard so that one needs to be taken out i gotta be careful i'm gonna lose these things down there in the abyss so uh, that one i'll have to put on another router because I need another open port and I definitely want to leave my main machine on here and my mom's because you know she gets on there once or sometimes when I'm asleep or something and if it did well that's hers was the one plugged into the Linksys with the bad port and it took a while to figure out that that was what was going on because it would work and not work you know so the Linksys still plugged in and running I'm gonna I guess I'll unplug it I haven't decided if I want to yeah, I see. I just don't want to lose that cable for it. I'll put it down. No, put it right here. Now, if I need to set something over here, yeah. Because what I think I'm going to have to do is set uh, this one. I'm going to set this one. This older net gear, it's going to go in there. I've already plugged in the... Uh, It'll sit on top of here is what it'll do. I've already plugged in the TP link and since my wires are where they are and they're pretty well tangled up now, I'm just gonna leave the sleep let sleeping dogs lie and uh, just put this one in the place of the links is on that top. I have power for this though. I have to make sure it will reach to where I want to, somewhere to plug it in. So, uh, man, I didn't want to get under the. I'll just put it down there for now. But when I plug it in, depends on where, how far I need to go. Let me plug it in now. This is one that doesn't have a uh, power. A lot of them don't have a power switch. Or some of them have a power switch that really just puts it to sleep. It doesn't doesn't uh, actually disconnect the power from it to turn it off. So it won't do you any good when you're trying to clear the cache and reboot them to make them, you know, run right again. Some lot sometimes it won't even get a new IP, you know, renew the IP addresses that way. But it has good diagrams on the back and everything tells you what everything is. This is an RP sixty one RP six one four B two used to be it never had much trouble with it until it got old and then it just couldn't keep up because there's more and more data being transferred all the time so I need to get that cable I 
just use that cable. I believe it's fine. Uh, it'd be bad if it was the cable, wouldn't it? Well, I know there's a problem with the Linksys, so I don't suspect the cable really. So I'm going to use this cable on the network on the uh, out port out to the router or out to the in this case it goes out yeah to the other router instead of out to the modem what it would usually be you only have one router so I'll put it in this other router so what I have been doing see is daisy chaining them I'd go from this router say to this one and then from this one to another one but right now I'm going to change that because I think that's what's slowing down my VNC connection to my laptop or where it won't work or else it's the Linksys itself. It's just not performing right. Uh, but this way, I can go... Uh, I think it'll be all right. If, if I end up with trouble, you know, with my forwarding, forwarding through the routers to other, other machines, then I may change it back. But right now, I'm going to have... One of the ports goes to this router. One of the other ports goes to the TP-Link which has other machines on it and whatever I decide to put on this router yeah there's a couple other things I'm going to want to put on this router that's what I'll do now I guess um, yeah the red black bio star we'll put it on that port okay not really what I would want on that router though let's see the other one's full unless I swap things around. E machines. Yeah, okay. The laptop. I'd rather have it on the TP Link than the Netgear. This one. I don't want this one. I think it goes to another room and it's not even plugged into anything. Could go to the living room though. I need to get it out enough so I can see it. I know you can't see what I'm talking about. I'm talking, I'm talking to myself right now, so pay no attention. Okay, this one right here. It's one of the ones that runs to another room. The tag on it is so old that I can't. I can almost see it. If I turn this light on, maybe it'll help. I really cannot tell. If it's the one going to the TV, I don't want to change it. I'll put it on that net gear. I think that could be bad. Yeah. Okay, this is the one. It goes to a bedroom and it's not being used. The, one in, in that room they're using wire, wire Wi-Fi and nowadays with laptops so it's not helping to I think that'll be about right to keep it in the center maybe I want it like that yeah okay now or where's that going well that should be going I don't know what it might be tangled up in but it's Let's do it like that, because I got one or two more. I actually have two more, so let's go all the way to the end with that one. This one, blue FIC. I guess I'll live with that for now. Have it going. I'm trying not to make them even more tangled. And this one, ah. The IBM, it really would need to be on the. Uh, for some reason, the only reason this IBM doesn't go, the server doesn't go straight to my TP link, is because of the weird onboard NIC card with this that's in this thing. Um, will not work with that router. It's somehow it's too old, I guess, somehow. And. Uh, the uh, tapes, some of my tapes tearing off of there, although I have two labels on it. Um, oh, I can put it in the other router. If I can get it out of here. Okay, the um, uh. there we go. It's not 
so bad. I'm just gonna plug it in over here. If I can find it again. There it is. Plug it in over here to the E. And I might have to change that once I go back. But that might that I think I can do that. I think it'll work on here. And uh, I can just set this up to forward that way. It takes a lot of thinking to do all that. And I'll get that all working before I go. Um, you know, turning off my backup server outside. I'm turning this one back on. I'm going to turn it on, but I'll get it all working. Okay. Now. This... I think I'm gonna go down here. Probably can't see that, but that's okay. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Now, I'm just gonna put this. What's it got on it? Okay, I just put the IBM on there. That one I know because of the only cable I have like that in here. That one goes to my laptop. This one's e machines. Okay, that is the the uh, jumper, you might call it. Going, or the daisy chain, that'd be what I usually call it, the daisy chain. That says WAN, that's the other thing, Wide Area Network. WAN's, W-A-N stands for Wide Area Network, capital W-A-N. I'm going to try wiping this mess again. I don't know, maybe that light, I cleaned that light, but maybe it had some stuff inside it or something that ended up going down there, I don't know. Well, I'll be needing a shower really soon here. So, uh, forgot what that little wire is for. Oh, that's my temperature. Goes out to my temperature sensor for my little thermometer, outdoor thermometer. Now, this is the setup now. All I have to do is crawl under the desk, plug all that up. Let's see, I'm going to unplug that. It's not running yet, so it's not bothering anything. I'm trying to do it with this little interruption. To, well, there was nobody using on the internet that I could, at the moment, while I was, when I started all this anyway. So hopefully they're still not this I'm just trying to there's a center I don't know if you can see that those antennas ow I'm trying to get it over the where the way it sits here oh yeah I was gonna oh, there's a lot some things that normally sit on these boxes that um, these boxes right here I don't want to lose this down in, in the abyss of under the desk, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to take it out anyway, whether I want to or not, because I'll just leave that on there. That's how I keep from, at, I put a twisty on the antenna to tie the power cord to. I'm going to hang on to that. I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it to trace the, uh, trace where this is plugged in, because I'm going to take it apart. That's what my plan is here, is to take it apart and see if I can see you know, like maybe a, a bad solder joint or something. You you used to, you could, you might find that, you know, and fix it. Now things are so tiny, you often couldn't fix it if you could, can't fix things that way so easily just by sight. But uh, leave that light like it is. Okay, but anyway, the yeah, the, the TP link is running. So is the uh, net gear. I mean, trend net. It has a switch on it. I just repowered it, and uh, I got to plug the neck gear in. And that'll just I'm just set that there while I'm getting down here to find figure things out. Now, oh, it's gonna fall. I was afraid of that. Now I've got one hand 
the only place it really sits good is right there. Okay. And I'm not can't um, can't hold a camera in emergency situations <laughs> very well. Okay, so I'm gonna yank on that. Look down here. Where are you? I wish I could turn that light on. I'll get my light from my. I don't know where it's plugged in. My light from my. Uh, something you can turn the light on on the camera if you did it before you start filming, and then you can tell. Oh, okay. It goes way over there. I think I did it that way. Okay. Holding my camera and my magnifying glass with the light turned on. Okay, I'm going to have to crawl down there and get it. And then I also have to drop that brick for that. To... Oh, let's get this to where it can not get hung up so easy. I think maybe that'll do it. Okay. I want to get a hold of that wire or anything. Here we go. In the... Into the tunnel. I'll just back up before I go. This is my set up here and some of the see all those boxes over there are what normally sits up there that's my rack that's actually a telco rack for telecommunications equipment i was an installer for about a year uh, installing dsl equipment and junk like that but uh inside the telephone company central offices they call it a telco oh so anyway down if I can do this without I didn't really see that well where are we aiming at I think it's too dark in here there we go or are we looking through the magnifying glass okay. I think that might be it I think this was not a good thing to try in video. There it is. There. I believe this is the one that was wiggling. Links this. Yes, I got it. Okay. So I'll plug that. If that brick will go there, I think it will. It's laying there right almost next, right there next to where I want it. So if it'll go in there and stay, then that's where it's going to be plugged in. I think it'll be right. It's a sideways. It's a power strip laying on its side because it has plugs on the front and the back. And uh, Yeah, it gets a good enough attachment. It'll be alright, I believe. So, I know you can't really see that at all, and probably don't care if you do. So, uh... <clears throat> now, I'm just going to put this up here now. Can't see where I'm aiming it that way, though, can I? That's where I usually keep it. And, uh... Help, but anyway, this is the power. The, it's a little brick. It's a power supply for the. Uh, yeah, I can't even see what I'm aiming. For the Linksys. So, and I believe I'll make. I probably won't work on it to this evening. It's already eight o'clock. Yeah, I won't take it apart tonight. I'll make a probably make me a YouTube live video. I'll get all my cameras set up. See, I have this one that I use I'm a, better, a little bit better tripod but it doesn't have a handle to pan it real easily either so I just thought this one would probably do better and one time I stuck a camera inside that VR box it has a window on the front that'll open but it made me so dizzy I couldn't do it I was going to try to make videos head, head cam video but uh, also the audio was muffled because things were touching the mics so I keep thinking there might be a way to do that but anyway there's a leather there's the power supply Still works fine. 
and unless it was well I don't think you just have one port not working just because you know if the power sub I'll ch I'll just check the voltage on it make sure it's the right voltage and stuff but uh, yeah my sister bought this brand new paid like 70 almost 80 bucks for it years ago when they were brand new the hottest thing on the market and uh, she used it for years and then she I think she got one with her ISP or something for free quit using it or just quit using it I think she might have quit using Wi-Fi period for a while or something I don't know anyway I've had it for years now I don't even remember how long but uh, yeah and if you know anything about these things if you're electronics engineer or enthusiast like me and you know what to look for let me know I'm gonna be taking it apart seems there's anything obvious testing voltages and stuff about all I can do um, but let's see what I always do okay I think I'll run through my let me put my thing back on the tripod that's a lot easier for me to handle it that way okay so I'm, I was fixing to go through oh yeah it's running the uh, Netgear's running now and it shows two the other machines are it's funny some machines when they're running they have to be running to show that the router sees them and some machines if they're plugged in it'll they'll show actually one of two of those ports may have nothing on them right now too anyway yeah it's up and running but what I'm gonna do is uh, reach back here on that switch on the T on the uh, the names are so similar TP link and uh, reboot it and uh, once it gets rebooted then I'll reboot e the other two routers I used to I always try to do them in sequence well you really need to when they're daisy chain one two three but now that they're daisy chain one two one two I guess you could say then uh, do them just do this one first and then do the other two and because i don't well this is the only one that you can turn oh i gotta get into it and turn the dhcp server back on unless it right now it's set to be just a switch because i was using it for uh uh something else uh where, where a server that uh put it you know it had a dhcp server in it a uh, remote boot i can't think of the name of it it's linux distro that has remote you boot up one machine and then it makes it uh, it sends out the uh, the IP addresses and it also sends out an operating system out for other machines to boot to like your you pixie boot or uh, px pxi or whatever boot uh, pixie, I'll call it pixie boot anyway uh, yeah I gotta turn the D DHCP server on and uh, so this one I have to unplug to reboot it, and it, if you can see it or not, it has a little yellow check mark that turns green when it's done. I don't think you can see it because of the. Oh, it doesn't turn green; it just goes out. It's yellow. It was yellow. Now, when you have uh, this one, that means you got internet, and the lights mean that your machines are connected. If you can see that at all, seems like it's washing out. May just be the preview that's washing out. Don't know for sure. Okay, so and then this machine, I mean well machine it is a machine. This router, turn that light back on, it's pretty dark in that corner. It has a switch that you can turn it on and off with, and that works. It, but it's a it's like an in out. <laughs> well both of them are the, this is a trend net. Trend net and TP link, they always confuse me names I'm always wanting to say them wrong but it's uh, and they're all supposed to be capable of at least 150 megabits wireless and then 100 wired and that's just about back up yeah it's back up and the uh, the TP link is a uh, N750 it's got 2.4 gigahertz uh, and it'll do about 150 or 100 200 or something and then 
the five gear are supposed to be like 350 or 400 and they advertise it they total the two together and advertise them that's what they'll do that's not what they'll do that's the total of what the two different radios will do a bunch of crap that's how they all do it too so if you're buying a router you see some like 800 gigahertz i mean 800 megabits sorry i think my mic turns on 800 megabits uh, that's total of both radios you're never going to get that at one time you're going to get whatever each individual radio will do so that's enough of all that fun yeah i'm starting to clean up i'm still making a video that's that's enough okay so yeah i need to get in there and uh check that out i could do that on a remote on a on remote uh desktop video instead of doing it on uh, the camera that would be a bad video so if I want to do that I'll I guess I could just turn on YouTube live and do it that way or something so um, and then I have to turn on my mic and all that well I don't like to do it without well it's only mic I have for my desktop is my sure SM58 that's what's under that sure bag there on that stand and then it's already plugged into my Novo but I have to move a lot of stuff that Behringer cover there that's a V amp it's a guitar effects but it also works well for a, uh, for a mic a preamp a compressor and a noise gate anyway I have to move all this stuff and turn it on I forgot about that that's why I just grabbed the camera well, of course I had to use the camera for this that's why I didn't do a live video just now so I don't know we'll see okay I guess it's not bit that big of a deal to make a video on the setting up an old net gear router for uh, Nobody's going to be using those but people that are desperate like me. So, that's a good enough for now, and then I'll come back. And I will try to make a, a, a video on the uh, Linksys when I take it apart. All right, this is done. Bye-bye.